glasses with me yeah. so Marlena um, just uh, going over my notes here yeah we're going out to um, New Westminster tonight going mm -hmm. to have a look at a, a family that seems to have some problems um, yeah. we've been out there before as you know and uh, I was just going to ask you what your thoughts were from the last time we were there this is the Queensboro address right sure no I know yeah um, um, you know, the first time I went out there, it was it was kind of a gray feeling over the whole house. I couldn't quite put my finger on anything really definite. Um, but you felt something was going on. Yeah, there's you know there's like well, after you do this for a while, you can sort of sort the houses out that you go to. You can, there's different. Each place has its own unique kind of space, right? In this particular house, um, didn't have a distinct thing, but had a lot of different things going on, right? So. I think when we go here tonight, I'll be able to sort of narrow it down a bit better where where it's coming from and maybe uh, pick up something a little more definite. But it's definitely worth going back, uh, that's for sure. Well, we're taking yeah. some new people tonight because mm -hmm. um, I thought it would be a good idea to try and get them, you know, thrown in real fast. Do you have any thoughts on that? It'll be the new Jeff and yourself. And um, any thoughts on what we should do with the new people? Well, we'll stay close to them, you know. I mean, uh, we won't have them wandering around by themselves, but because we're not sure what we're dealing with there at all, right? Yeah. And uh, they don't know really how to go about it themselves properly, so they need some hatting in that department. So I'm happy to uh, take them with me, you know. Maybe I'll take them up to the upstairs bedroom or whatever, where the people are sort of saying that's kind of a, a hot spot in the house, right? I want to li liberally. Um flood that entire upstairs with closed circuit cameras. Yeah. And night shots if yeah. possible. But I guess Anyways. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so... Um, People sure, certainly are concerned. They want us there. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. Well, well we're off to... Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay, John. We're off I was just to... Gonna, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that two, sometimes... Two ladies in hers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but I was going to say that um, the funny thing is that sometimes all this activity picks up either after we leave or just before we get there. And yeah. The ghosts seem to be sentient enough to know that we've arrived and they just lay low sometimes. And then when we go, people are saying it pick, picks up. Yeah, that's true too. So you know, it's, a, it's kind of a waiting game sometimes for us. Yeah. Hoping well, that maybe we sit somewhere and we get, get really down and really quiet and cut the nattering out and everything else. And then the ghosts maybe Get, you know, get back into the mode where they don't think anybody's really there, right? I mean, what do you want to bet that nobody ever be quiet when we go in a ghost Well, that's the thing. You gotta, <laughs> they get kind of excited, right? Oh. Okay. We're hoping that it's going to be a good, interesting night. The weather went really foul very quickly. We got Marlena there just sort of checking out the traffic and uh, hopefully it's not too bad going out that way with the rain in Vancouver, especially when it's been dry for a few days, the rain gets very, very, very. Uh, you can see Marlena here has uh, got her hoodie on. I don't know if you can see it, but she's got her. Her hoodie on, I'm trying to get an image of it. It's just, uh, a really cruddy night. 
heading out to Queensboro, which is a New Westminster area. Real cruddy. We're just hoping that we don't have too much in the way of traffic. And um, hardly any street lights are on at all, except for one down there in the distance. And then we got uh, ghost hunters over there in their van. Um, I don't, uh, I think they're just waiting to see what's happening with Marlene at the front door over here. She'll be back in a few seconds. And we'll see what's going on. Can you hear the rain coming down? And she's coming back in now. Uh, the people are home, and yeah. they did remember that we're coming, so okay. we, can, uh, we can go in and uh, do our thing. Alrighty. So we'll get Marlene to get a hold of our crew. Do you want to grab, hang on, Naomi, go ahead and grab your bag, and grab that white bag there and take that in. Just wait for, just wait here for a sec. Jeff, do you want to take the big box with all the equipment? And uh, I'll just lock up the hearse here. Can you see, watch, it's a little slippery there, you guys. Don't fall in the ditch. Okay, I'm going to lock her all up here. Okay, you're going up to the door. Hi, Naomi. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi. Hiya. Do you want to put that on the table in there, please, sir? Jeff? Well, here we're back, eh? We're back. How are you? So you guys are going to film outside. We've got to... I know, we've got to... We'll, we'll use the shelter of the door to... to you, so that we can monitor it inside. I got three umbrellas. If you guys have to go out. No, we, we, we won't be going outside. We're going to have a camera monitoring. Okay. Yeah, it's too wet outside. I don't want anybody out there. Naomi, you want to put your bag on the table? Okay. okay. Uh, we'll get the cameras set up over there, Jeff. What time do you guys go to bed? Uh, we're probably going to go to bed just as soon as you guys set up and we'll let you do your thing. Okay. Yeah. How's the news of the other thing? No, it didn't. We have Josh has not turned up. So. Yeah, hasn't he? Yeah. That's, that really bites. I know. We're yeah. going to be setting up a, a camera in your room again, okay, Pumpkin? Okay. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yep. Sure. Yeah? yeah? Okay, she, good. She's We've got three this time because I told you we bought an extra two. Yeah. We're going to put one upstairs in the umbilical cord. One outside on umbilical, which means it's like on a wire. Yeah. Then we're going to have a wireless that's going to be probably monitoring up the stairs. And uh, Naomi and Jeff are going to be up there with Marlena moving back and forth between two groups because we don't make a lot of noise moving around. And I'll set up base here. Okay. 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 So where did Marlena go? There she is. Uh, whoops, sorry, girl. A little bit. And we are uh, putting the equipment together. Okay, so can we get that um, plugged in over there, please, uh, not Naomi, or someplace where there's a plug that's big enough for that, without us stepping on it. Okay, that one goes to that one. We just don't want it. We don't really want it behind us, um, behind it, because if it gets stepped on, it pulls everything off Good. the table. Um, so we need to kind of keep them all in the same area There's as possible. There's a plug that will run right here, actually. That might fit. That, that might fit. Might I, think it's, I think it's long enough. I think I think you've got enough. You've got enough space there. Um, we, there we actually go. had a. Uh, we actually had a uh, extension cord.